school it's about these guys showing up uh, just putting out their most effort and, and trying to get better you know it's just uh it's kind of one of the deals a tough sport it's not made for everybody but at the end of the day it's just effort that we're looking for we've got a great group of guys he's gonna break we're just coming right around him just simple old rounds stepping right around him. not so bad but when he's smart and he's right up against that panel I want y'all imagine like a six in your head you know draw six six I'm starting out I'm gonna lead him out and then I'm gonna finish my round and it's, it's a big six I'm breaking into him he breaks there's a six Step back around and ground I gotta get him away from that guy that's down then step around him. You know, that guy's knocked out. I've got to get this bull away from here. Yeah. But grabbing him and just turning and running, you're steamrolled, then you're hooked. Then where are we at? We've got a guy knocked out and a bullfighter down. Okay? So it's keeping that, keeping that angle. Keeping that angle. Step right around him. These calves are going to be flighty, they're going to be bouncing off the panel, so I don't want to be just running them. I want to have that perfect angle to get on the commit and break, not running them. If we're at their butt, they're going to run. Jesus, I'm across for our sins. In Jesus' name. Stays the same. The bulls are better. Make your moves better. Okay. Yes, Don't decide who wants to start him. Fever. You got, you got, you got. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's a gold school. The fundamentals that y'all are learning right here at the bull school will work at any event that you go to. Any bullfight, any rodeo, any bull riding, no matter what, where you're at, what you're doing, the fundamentals that you're learning right here will, will be with you for the rest of your career. Every time you step in the tent, what you're learning right here will be with you. And guys, y'all made some good moves. Cody, great bullfight, dude. That was awesome. Everybody, you got legged, but you just know where you're at. You gotta get legged up a little bit. Yes, as far as your moves, everything that you're doing, spot on. Thank you. Art. Well, that was good, man. It was really good. It's been a good day. Little bulls, some of y'all thought it'd be a little bit different with those bigger bulls, but nothing changed, right? I mean, same moves. A little bit easier, probably, since they actually gave you a pocket to step into. But it's been a good day. Be proud of yourself, guys. Who wants to give thanks? I will. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thanks for the opportunity to come here and do what we love, Father. We just thank you. Uh, my name's Edward Horden. Um, I'm from Orange, New South Wales, Australia. I uh, decided to come to Cody Webster School. I just had um, ankle surgery there in October and uh, needed to start getting around a few more and improve, improve on my skills. And coming here, it's been great. Is it what you expected? Uh, more, <laughs> way more than what I expected. You know, Cody breaks everything down and just little things that you didn't think was, you know, you had a problem with. And as soon as he tweaked one thing of mine, I was getting around them piece of piss. So. You bet, man. What did you think of them bulls? Man, they were good. Like, great bulls. Good confidence starters for today. So I can't wait to see what we got tomorrow. Heck yeah, man. You did a good job. Thanks, mate. <laughs> My name is Dawson Solis. I'm from down in the cornfields in Thrall, Texas. And I chose the bull school because, first of all, Cody Webster is one of the best bullfighters in the world. I uh, always watched him as a young kid and as of before fighting bulls as well. So learned a lot from him just from the video and uh, thought to myself I'd love to see it in person. So. Is it what you, is the bull school what you expected? Oh, absolutely. Everything I ever I ever thought of about on the drive here, and yeah, we're, we're getting it taught, we're getting it done. So. Um, Real, real thank, thankful to be here for sure. You bet. And uh, what do you think of them bulls today? Ah, uh, them bulls were good. You know, the uh, the them younger bulls, they were, you know, just basic, fun, making you fundamentally sound. Uh, the bigger bulls, you know, they gave you a little test. Uh, kind of got cut off a little bit, but you know, continue to try to fight it out. So it just makes you more hungry. In my eyes, it makes me more hungry, uh, as well as it should. You know, a lot of the younger bullfighters are upcoming bullfighters. My name is Blake Starrett. I'm from Texarkana, Texas, and I really wanted somewhere where I could get my confidence up, freestyling and learn everything pretty much about both sides of it. Freestyling and cowboy protection, and Cody Webster's probably one of the best guys in the world that does it, so why not come learn from the best if I want to be the best? You bet, man. But, uh... What did you think about today? You meet your expectations? Oh yeah, today was pretty fun. Got knocked down. You know, my legs were tired and I was kind of out of breath, but got back in there a couple of bulls later and finished it off on a good note. What's your name? Where are you from? And why'd uh, why'd you choose Cody Webster Bulls? Uh, Cody Spider from North Dakota, Newtown. Um, since I was little, I wanted to be you know bullfighter. And Cody's, I think Cody's the best, so. Why not learn from the best, though? You bet, man. What'd you think about today? Uh, it was fun. Doing, you know, I don't know, no words for it, I guess. Just Meet fun. your expectations? Yeah, fun and love it. Ready for tomorrow. <laughs> you bet. You did good today, man. Thank you, sir. I'm Cody Kenyon. I'm from Riverton, Wyoming. I chose Webster School because of, uh, I was one of the best in the game. Wanted to learn some the basics from him, being new to the sport. Right on. Today meet your expectations? Oh, what you thought it's going to be? More than ever. It pushed me to something I wouldn't have done this morning, I guarantee it. You did good. You did good. <laughs>